All right, so now back to like the main thing that I wanted to talk to you about, which is what to focus on and what to think about to get more money. So I mentioned I've got this private client group thingy, and uh, I do a lot of work with these folks. You know, I mean, we meet three times a year. I, I talk to them whenever they want, pretty much as long as it's on a Monday. That's my rule. Like, schedule the call on a Monday, please. You know, because that's like my day for talking to people and stuff. And I had a client yesterday, and um, the dude's been a, a, a client forever, you know. And recently he did, uh, he experimented with some stuff and it worked okay. It almost seemed to work okay. And the stick rate got him. Like something was off with the stick rate. I think it was the market. Um, long story short, he's making a lot of sales and things were going pretty well. And there was this huge amount of people that just never used the stuff they bought and then they would, they would cancel. And so that was unpleasant. And um, man, we probably spent about an hour looping like this. All right. So here was the conversation. And by the way, I really like this guy. I have a tremendous amount of respect for him. And the only reason I was able to recognize this in him is because I've done it a billion times, right? So what I'm telling you is not from an ivory tower. This is like, okay, we've all been there. I myself have been there a gazillion times. It takes a tremendous amount of conscious effort not to do what I'm about to describe. So here's the conversation, all right? I'll just like say, hey, this is him and this is me. All right, so my man's like, damn it, <laughs> you know? I did all this stuff and thought it was going great, and then it turns out it wasn't going great. I'm like, yeah, man, that's a bummer. You know, I was like, I know that totally sucks. What do you think it was? I'm like, well, based on everything we're looking at, it looks like it's the market, you know, because you're getting customers okay, it was profitable, everything was all right, but the, they didn't stick, and if we rule out that the product was bad or all that, then we can assume it was the market, and the way you know it wasn't the product is because the ones who didn't stick never actually used the product because we're able to, to tell, you know, whether or not they used it. So it was like pretty simple, you know, analytical stuff. And then um, they do be like, yeah, it kind of makes me question what market to go into. And um, the good news is this, this guy's in like self-improvement. He was targeting a very, very narrow uh, professional niche. And, um, you know, so he'd be like, you know, it really makes me question whether or not I should continue to target these people, to which my response was probably not, you know, uh, doubt you should, because number one, they're really hard to reach. Number two, they're very, very busy. Number three, it's expensive to get to them. And number four, it doesn't seem like they actually do the stuff, probably because they're so incredibly busy and they just don't have that level of commitment. So we would go there and it's like, you know, now we're in like minute five of the conversation and then it would shift to this, right? Which was, well, dude, what do you want to do? You know, I'd be like, well, what do you, who do you want to go for? Because you, you could sell personal development to anybody in the world. It's one of the biggest, you know, markets out there. They like to buy a lot of stuff. You're very, very good at it. The dude's got all the, you know, credentials and everything you could possibly imagine, like a thousand times more qualified than really anybody in that market space. And um, you'd be like, yeah, man, I don't know. You know, so we're starting to get going somewhere, right? And so it'd be like, yeah, I, I don't know. And I'd be like, well, you know, here's what we did learn, right? You, you can make a funnel that works. You can get extremely busy, hard to reach people uh, to watch your content. You can get extremely busy, hard to reach people to talk to you. And you can get them to buy some stuff. So chances are it'd work even better if you were like, going after people that weren't unbelievably difficult to reach and busy. You know, just kind of using logic here. And my man would be like, yep, yeah, probably makes sense, you know? I should probably go after a different market. <laughs>